Hello everyone. I'm here at Truck Fest to meet a really big machine. A monster truck. Whoa! Look at the size of the wheels on that thing. One of my best friends is a monster truck and he'd really like to meet Big Red over here. Come along, Max. Come and say hello to Big Red. Who do you think is bigger? Max or Big Red? Big Red's only built for taking passengers on a ride on his back. Look how much fun that looks. But I'm here to meet a stunt monster truck. A monster truck that crushes and jumps cars. This is Swamp Thing. A huge monster truck that weighs as much as two elephants. Swamp Thing is 14 feet tall. That's almost as tall as a giraffe. Let's take a look at Swamp Thing in action. Three, two, one, go! Wow, just look at those cars getting crushed! The monster truck is so heavy that when it lands on the cars, they are squashed as flat as a pancake. Swamp Thing is a really amazing monster machine. I wonder what it's like to drive a monster truck. This is Swamp Thing's driver, Tony. He's using his tools to perform a safety check on Swamp Thing. He's checking that all the nuts and bolts are tight so that a wheel doesn't fall off in the middle of a show. Tony, what's it like to drive a monster truck? To drive a monster truck, for me, it's the best job in the world. I saw it on TV when I was about eight years old and I never thought I'd be doing it for a living. Um, the feel you get in there, it's so noisy, so bumpy, but the adrenaline keeps you going. How do you get in Swamp Thing? Most people think you climb on the tyres, but I'll show you how you get in. It's fairly simple. Just walk around the side of it. Doors don't open. What you got is a climbing frame, and literally, you just climb up on the inside. And then you're straight in the seat. Okay, how do you drive a monster truck? Literally, we've got one pedal for go, and one pedal for stop. That's the starting and stopping. Now we've got to work out how to steer it. Front wheels is just like a car, turns in a steering wheel. Unlike a normal car, we've got back steering, so this turns on a joystick, left and right on the back. So who's ready to crush some cars? Tony built this monster truck himself, using lots of different parts, from lorries and diggers. He knows it inside out. When Tony takes Swamp Thing around the country, he can't take it on the roads. So the monster machine has to travel in Tony's massive lorry. Swamp Thing has many of the things that a normal car would have, only they're much, much bigger. There's the wheels, the engine, the exhaust, the suspension, which gives Tony a softer landing, the brakes, the chassis, and the cabin. All of these things are designed so that Swamp Thing can jump like this.
Well, it's time to say goodbye to Tony and Swamp Thing now. I'm here at the Hoylake Lifeboat Station, where I'm going to go sailing on this huge lifeboat behind me. Lifeboats are very important boats because they are life-saving boats. They rescue people who are in trouble out at sea. And look! This massive tractor is used to take the boat down to the beach and launch it into the sea. Just look at those caterpillar tracks. But the lifeboat wouldn't be any use without the amazing crew that sail her and look after her. Here come the crew now to get ready for launch. These crew members are real life superheroes who give up their free time to save people who are in trouble at sea. Today they're doing a training exercise. Look at the lifeboat coming out of the station now! The tractor is pushing it out of the station and down the ramp to the beach. Those caterpillar tracks are perfect for travelling along the sandy, muddy beach. The crew are also launching a hovercraft today, which can travel on land and sea by floating around on a cushion of air. These huge fans on the back are what pushes the hovercraft along. And it's very, very noisy. Here comes the lifeboat and the tractor. The tractor can go deep into the water to launch the lifeboat smoothly into the sea. The trailer tilts and the boat just slides off. Here we go, we're out at sea. This Shannon class lifeboat can go really fast so that they can get to people in trouble as quickly as possible. This is Andy. He's the coxswain, which means he's in charge of the lifeboat today. And this is Matt, the deputy coxswain and driver of the boat. What are you doing now, Andy? Now we're going to do a man overboard exercise. What will happen is one of our guys will go in the water now and then we'll pick them up. This brave member of the crew has volunteered to get in the cold water so that the rest of the crew can practice how to pull somebody out again. On the boat! They use a special harness and ropes to pull him out as quickly and safely as possible. Just look at how the crew all work together as a team to rescue him. Do you want to have a look inside the lifeboat? Come on, Andy's going to give us a quick tour. So the first seat we come to is a crew seat or a doctor's seat. So if we have to take a doctor out, the, the doctor would sit there. Then we've got Alistair sitting here. He's the navigator today. So he's keeping us safe and in deep water. As we come further back, we've got the coxswain seat. So the coxswain sits in the middle of the boat and he's able to look at everything that's going on around the boat. Alongside the coxswain we have the mechanic seat. He's looking after the engines and he has all the controls he needs for, uh, for operating anything we need during the journey out to rescue someone. We've got the radar seat. The radar is a, is a great piece of equipment. The radar will see in the dark or it'll see through fog when, uh, when we can't see anything. And then we have the helmsman seat. This is where the, the lifeboat's driven from. At the minute, there's no one sitting in here because the lifeboat's getting driven from uh, on deck. Thanks for the tour, Andy. The tractor's waiting for us on the beach, ready to tow the boat back up to the station. Well, uh, Matt, we're about to hit the beach. You better slow down. Uh, Matt. Ah! Oh, ah, we're okay. Ah, I see, that was supposed to happen. 
the lifeboat's very strong and it's designed to hit the beach at speed. Now the tractor can come along and tow the boat up and onto the trailer. As well as the crew on the boat, there is also a shore crew who make sure that the launch and recovery go smoothly. Wow, that's like magic. The trailer can spin the boat around in a circle so that she's facing the right way out to sea for the next rescue mission. A long day at sea, now it's time to head back. But the lifeboat's all dirty and the tractor and tracks. So the crew at the station all wash, scrub and clean. They really look after their rescue machine. It's very important to look after the boat so that she works for a long, long time. The crew take great pride in looking after the lifeboat because they know she's special. The crew are members of the RNLI, which is a charity where kind people donate money to buy equipment, like this beautiful boat. And it's these brave volunteers who go out and rescue people. Have you ever wondered how big trucks get cleaned? Well, we're about to find out. I'm here at a giant truck wash. These trucks drive for miles and miles, delivering important things all over the country, which means they also get very dirty. This truck wash is so popular that there's a queue of muddy trucks all waiting to get cleaned. And it can clean all sorts of different trucks. Big lorries, gas tankers, even car transporters. The trucks start by driving into the truck wash very carefully and stop once they're fully inside. The cleaning team begin by spraying special soapy water over the whole truck. This soap gets to work straight away loosening all of that grease and grime. If the dirt is really bad or difficult to reach, the team will use long brushes to get to these hard to reach places. Then it's time to turn on the rollers. This huge machine is controlled from these switches here. The cleaning team select what sort of truck is in the wash so that the rollers can clean the right places on the vehicle. There's three rollers in total two that clean each side of the truck and one that cleans the front, the top and the back. The soft rollers wipe all of the muck away and the spray nozzles rinse the truck clean. The huge machine that carries the rollers moves forwards and backwards along the truck on rails, just like a train would. This truck wash is very special too. The dirty water goes down the drain and is magically turned into clean water in this pump room. That means that most of the dirty water is recycled and no water is wasted. If there's any bits that the machine has missed, it's time for the cleaning team to use some super powerful jets to blast off that stubborn dirt. Look at that. This lorry's as good as new, clean and sparkling. Good job, team. See you again soon.
Bye.